Hello and a warm welcome back, my dear students. Today, uh, as you, after, I'm so glad to be back here. First of all, and I hope your exams went well. And I've already put up one video of Atithi, the guest, the first uh, part explanation. Of, it's already done the YouTube. For those of you who have just stepped into class 12 and haven't and haven't uh, seen that video, go ahead and do it. And for the rest of you. Welcome back. Let's study hard. Let's make magic happen. Let's study literature and language and make sure um, that you know that you learn in the best way possible. And more than learning in the best way possible, that's me, that is given. But also our love for the language, our love for literature, our love for stories. Let it let it grow and let it you know let it grow in such a way that it becomes a beautiful journey. So today I'm going to present to you the video of Julius Caesar Act Three Scene One. And before Act Three Scene One, I'm also going to put up a video which talks about how should you be studying Julius Caesar, because a lot of time there are teachers who will explain the things to you, but they wouldn't explain how should you be doing it. What is the right approach? So uh, being a teacher, uh, being a teacher who's going to guide you, I am also going to put up a video where I talk about how should you be approaching the text. What are the techniques? How should you be? What kind of mentality? What kind of mind should you be study sitting with when you're studying Julius Caesar in particular? and literature in general so that you learn that for the rest of your life not just for the examination and become a better scholar better learners and better human beings well educated human beings because that is what we're here for so without any further delay let's get into the explanation of act 3 scene 1 and if you have any doubts if you have any problems comment down below what do you wish from me to do for you comment down below and uh, like this video subscribe to it and share it among your friends that would be huge 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 great um, favor for me or a great help to me see you on the other side students so let's begin with the scene it's rome in front of the capital a crowd of people is are there and among them we have artemidorus who as if you remember from act 2 scene 3 was the person who was about to give the letter so what are we going to do when we are writing our answers we'll write who is artemidorus we write artemidorus well wisher of caesar who intends to give his plea or his suit to caesar informing him about the dangers or uh, informing him about the danger uh, informing him about the impending or upcoming danger okay then we have soothsayer another well-wisher kind of a well-wisher of caesar and we have the conspirators cassius casca decius metilus tribunus sinna antony is not a concert or is not one of them uh, lepidus populius publius and others so we have them now caesar to the seats uh, soothsayer the ids of march are come what does he mean that the ids of march has arrived and why is he saying this he's saying this better because uh, it was the soothsayer who told him beware of ids of march so now he's telling him that you know the ids of march has arrived and soothsayer says i caesar yes caesar but not gone not gone not yet over yes i know that the ids of march have come and you're safe and you're sound but it is not yet over hail caesar read this schedule read this schedule read this plea read this request Decius, Strobinus thought desire you to overeat at your best leisure. This is humble suit. But before, after, just immediately after Artemidorus has put up, has put up his suit. What does Decius do? What does Decius do? He also puts up his plea. So Artemidorus, so what is again Decius doing? He's trying to make sure that his plea gets there, his plea gets heard, his plea gets heard before Caesar and no one else comes, so that their plan goes as as smoothly as it can without any hindrance dishes trebinus thought desire you to overread overread read through at your best leisure at, at the time which is convenient for you this is humble suit his humble suit here means this is request his plea so again suit is the keyword better when you are writing your answers make sure you use the suit as a keyword and enhance your answer artemidorus o caesar read mine first for mine suit that touches caesar nearer Again, and line touches Caesar nearer. What does that mean? That is more personal, more closely related to Caesar. Read it, great Caesar. Obviously, he is showing, but and again. 
I told you, you know, we have to focus on why of the character. So, what does it tell us? Why is he behaving in such a way? Because this itself shows Caesar's, this itself shows Artemidorus concern for Caesar. So, if the question comes that how do we know Artemidorus to be a well wisher of Caesar, we are going to talk about Act Two, Scene Two, uh, Act Two, Scene Three, where he fe wishes that you no, know, he uh, he is in a bit of anxiety. He is anxious to give the letter, and on the other hand, he says that you know, or oh, on the other hand, he is trying his best. to give this letter he is trying his he is he is putting forward his suit so that caesar reads his letter and gets to know the danger the upcoming danger that is about to befall on him so again this is how we frame our answers and this is how we know focus on the why of the character okay or caesar read mine first for mine's a suit that touches caesar re, re, nearer see caesar nearer concerns himself more closely related to caesar personally related to caesar read it get caesar what touches us ourselves shall be last served so again being the person that he is being the person a kind of overconfident person but also a kind of perhaps not so much of a selfish person perhaps a selfless person he says what touches us ourselves what concerns underlying touches us ourselves what concerns myself what concerns me shall be last sir shall be taken at last more closely whatever is concerned shall be dealt with last okay it should not be dealt with right now it shall be dealt with last right now i am going to put up my i put up my obligations response ability duty as a statesman delay not caesar read it instantly instantly so again what does it tell it tells us about uh, artemidorus again that he is concerned about caesar he cares about caesar he worries about caesar so when we are reading this play as these uh, this extract or this scene or scene yes this scene in particular what is what is to what is that we should be focusing on we should be focusing on or the central theme of the scene is artemidorus concern for caesar so a is concern for caesar forms an important component of the scene and this is how we study and this is how we understand a play Caesar, what is the fellow mad? And obviously, Caesar is becoming a little impatient because he has told him that I'll be taking it up later. I'll be taking up it later, but he doesn't understand. And obviously, Publius and they do not want any kind of hindrance, any kind of impediment. Another word of the day, impediment. What does impediment means? Obstacle. Again, another thing that you could use this in your answer. Sira, give place. Sira, fellow, sir, give place. Give place. Step aside. Get out of the way. Give place. What? Urge your petition in the street. Now, Caesar is frustrated. You have. urging your petition in the street your request in the street come to the capital do not stand here come to the capital caesar goes up to the senate house the rest following popli popilius i wish your enterprise today may thrive now popilius is saying i wish your enterprise may thrive enterprise means task venture whatever you wish to do it becomes successful it becomes it reaches fruition what enterprise popilius now what is happening here is cassius again feels because they are about to assassinate julius caesar so sense of doubt comes into seeps into the mind of cassius cassius feels that you know what is he talking about does he know about the plan has my plan been discovered so yeah populus uh fare you well but he doesn't say and he goes to caesar what said populus lena so brutus is asking what what was he saying he wishes today our enterprise might thrive i fear our purpose is discovered i fear our strategy i fear our plans is discovered look how he makes to caesar mark him look how pay attention how he is going to caesar makes his way how he is going towards caesar mark him pay attention to him okay cassius casca be sudden for we fear prevention casca be sudden be quick casca be quick for we fear fear prevention we are afraid that we shall be stopped we shall be hindered we shall be impeded a uh, brutus what shall be done what shall we do if this be known cassius or caesar cassius or caesar never shall turn back for i shall slay myself so what is he telling what again what kind of sentiment is being reflected here the sentiment that is being reflected here is a passionate sentiment he is not paying attention so much to rationality he is not paying he is not being logical but rather passionate he is given to his emotions why again because cassius more than Uh, taking on this venture forward in the name of the welfare of roman citizen has a personal grudge against caesar so he is saying that one that is why he is given more to emotions and he is saying it casca be quick for we fear prevention brutus what shall be done what shall we do if this be known if it is discovered either cassius or caesar will return back alive either i'll kill him or i will slay 
myself but brutus being brutus being the logical rational statesman that he is says cassius be constant be calm be assured be steady Populus Lenus speaks not of our purpose. He is not talking about a plan. For look, he smiles and Caesar doth not change. Look, he smiling and Caesar's expression is not changing. Cassius Tribunus knows his time. Tribunus knows when to for when to go when to do what. Look, you Brutus. Look, Brutus. He draws Mark Antony out of the way. He is taking out Mark Antony out of the way. Decius, where is Metellus' symbol? Let him go. Where is me? Let him go. Let him go forward. And presently, immediately at this moment, give his suit to Caesar. He is addressed. Press near and second him. He is ready. He is present and support him. Let's support him. Let's be there. Sina, Casca, you are the first that rears your hand. You are the first who is going to raise your hand. Are we all ready? What is now amiss? What is wrong? That Caesar and his Senate must redress. Underline the word redress. You are going to use it as a word. Or important? Why is it important? Keyword because redress is the theme that forms the that forms an important component of the play. Brutus also wishes to be a part of also uh, be, uh, wishes no sorry also becomes the part of the conspirators because he feels that we have to redress the wrongs. Similarly, here Caesar is asking, "What is wrong? You know, what is what is the thing? What what is the problem?" What should we correct? Metellus, most mighty, most high, most mighty, and most puissant, puissant, glorious Caesar. Metellus symbol throws before thy seat a humble heart. So what is he doing? He's actually trying to flatter Caesar. He's actually trying to be extravagant in his flattery, in his praise towards Caesar. A humble heart. But before he could complete, he kneels down. But before he could complete. What the Caesar says, I must prevent thee. I must stop thee, Simba. These couchings, these kneeling down, these lowly courtesies, these bows, are might fire the blood of ordinary men. Ordinary men might get convinced by it. Ordinary men might get swayed by it and turn pre-ordinance, pre-ordinance laws and rules and first decree, decree law, and turn laws and rules into law of children. They may take it lightly. They may turn into turn it into game of children. Be not fond to. Think, be not foolish to think that Caesar bears such rebel blood. Caesar bears such false blood. The Caesar's blood is so thin that he would get swayed by such a display, such display of you know flattery that will be thawed from the true quality. That will be thawed. He means impressed. He melted. That just like ice melt, ice get thawed. That I will be impressed from such true qual from the true quality from my true nature, which that melt fool. So nature which actually melts. Fool! I am not going to be. I am not going to get impressed by that nature. So do not think that Caesar's spirit can be false to its real nature and be thawed and be melted or impressed or convinced or coaxed by that which actually melts a fool. I mean sweet words. What I mean is sweet words. Low crook, low crook courtesies, low bowing down, low crook kneeling, bending low, and base spaniel lowly, base spaniel fawning. Please underline these lines. You're going to use it as a keyword. And base spaniel fawning. Thy brother by decree is banished. Thy your brother by law is banished. If thou dost bend and pray and fawn for him, try to be affectionate towards me. I spurn thee like a cur. If you behave like a dog, I'll also kick you. Spurn, underline spurn. What is Spurn means kick. I'll also kick you like a cur, like a dog, out of my way. No Caesar doth not wrong. Know that Caesar has not been unjust. Caesar had not been unfair, nor without cause. Nor has Caesar meted out. Nor has Caesar given out his judgment without proper cause. Caesar is just and proper. Will he be satisfied? And nor without proper cause will he be satisfied. Not without good reason will he be convinced. That is the shin. Convince and repeal the sentence. So we are going to keep it till here. In the next video, we are going to go into more details. But again, when you are reading at your homes, going through, watching this video, what are you going to focus on? These the extract till where these extracts the part till where I've taught focuses on Artemidorus' concern for Caesar. Conspirators attempt to hinder Artemidorus, and hence making sure, hence ensuring that the plan goes smooth, smoothly, and the character's reflection. It shows Artemidorus's character. It shows the characters. It shows. It reflects upon Brutus's character. It reflects. It reflects upon Cassius's 
character i hope you have liked the video i hope this has been beneficial to all comment down if you need any further explanation if you like the video comment down whether you like the video or not because again it will act as a source of encouragement for me and do not forget to subscribe like and share share it with as many people share knowledge make ourselves better learners and people 